with my sisters and I went to the cinema that day. We went in, paid for penny, sung my song, the Glen song. We walked round to the Glen cinema, which was only five minutes from where we stayed. So we were in there and uh, it was bedlam. All the kids were shouting, talking, that. Somebody shouted, fire. There is no fire. But somebody in the projector's office had to cut a film and put it on top of a hot canister. And the hot canister had melted the film and the smoke from the film had drifted into the hall. And then we all panicked. The kids in the, the balcony, they were jumping off the balcony onto us below. The exit door was shut and the door opened inwards instead of outwards so the people were trying to get out so they couldn't get the door and the people behind them were crushing them so quite a few of them lost their lives there. Eventually, I'm sure it was a fireman that got me out, smashed the window. During this time, the fireman had come in to me and, and he had took me out and he said, better go straight home to your mother. So right here, so I was getting home. If I hadn't seen my mother at that time, she'd have been up at the hospital looking at dead bodies and injured children. I, can't, I just can't forget it. It's just there. It just creeps up. Knowing that the kids never ever get out. You knew quite a lot of them. <laughs>